I've started out by taping the edges of the paper down. So all four sides are taped down because this is a more in-depth kind of study. And I'm putting the rule of thirds on. We've talked about this before. So I'm just looking for like a tic-tac-toe grid here. And because it's kind of odd measurements, it's 11 by 14, that's hard to divide into thirds. I'm just eyeballing the sections and making sure that they look about right. And the rule of thirds grid is important because you don't want to put things directly in the middle. You want to think of those intersecting points. Those are hot spots. So that's right where I'd want to put something. So you can trace with a circle if you're going for an actual ball or a perfect sphere. But if you're doing something that's a little odd shaped, like say a fruit, like an apple or an orange, you may want to just freehand it. And that's what I'm doing here. I'm doing a, a couple of persimmons. I'm doing three of them. And they do need to be a certain size. They should be about four to five inches in height, maybe bigger than that. So no smaller than four inches there. And if you're doing um, a small one, I'm going to recommend you do multiple ones. I want you to do at least two anyway, but maybe three is fine. Or you can do a fourth one if you want. So there are lots of possibilities because there are lots of things that happen to be shaped like a sphere. So I do have a picture that I'm looking at on the side, but I am changing some things. I like this idea of conveying depth. So that's why there's one up close and then there's two that are farther off. Now if you have, uh, if you want to try doing this, you just have to make sure that the ones that are off in the distance are a little bit smaller than the one that's up front in the foreground. The rule of thirds grid is also good because we're going to be using a horizon line that's either close to the bottom third or close to the top third, not in the middle. And you can see I'm drawing really lightly. That's what you want to be doing too. You don't want to draw too heavy because you want to be able to cover this with paint. So here's my reference picture that I'm looking at. I'm also looking for where the light is hitting and where are those cast shadows and form shadows because I will draw the cast shadows in here just to outline it. So there's the cast shadow there so I know that the light's coming from the left, upper left hand side. And of course the cast shadow should be right near the form shadow. When you get to painting, you can actually put that in. There's a horizon line, higher horizon line, so top third.